Hey, well, finally, hey, hey, Azzy and Uzi and Caitlin and Fatima and Luca and Clacy and Melody. Hello, good to see you. Give me thumbs up. Can you guys hear me on my Zoom class? Hello, my Zoom class. Hello, my Morning Fine Arts Academy. And today we've invited the world to join us during our, our hour of pencil power. Oh, yeah, the hour of pencil power. We're going to draw... Uh, I want to draw some medieval knights' uh, helmets today. I got I was totally inspired uh, by this picture I saw on uh, Facebook yesterday. And let me uh, light and darken. There we go. The dirt in the background. I got Mario sitting over in the in the um, in his side. He's working on some drawings too. Yeah, we know. have Facebook and we have Instagram. And uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot to get. Uh, uh, now I can get messages on Facebook. You can text me on Instagram. I don't. I can't. You can't comment on YouTube. My apologies, but that's just a, a anti-trolled screen for us here. And so, if you want to send me a hi on Instagram, I'm going to be going live at. Um, uh, hey, look at we have Mario. We already have Veronica on, and we have. Uh, uh, we have. Uh, Ireland from Dublin. We have, hey, Alfred, good to see you. We have Mary Curtis on this morning. And uh, Richard, good to see you. Veronica, good to see you. All right, Jim, well, let's get going. Today is our 34th week of 41 weeks of our Fine Arts Academy. We've been going live every day. And remember, on Mondays, on Mondays, we have our, our, our group from Draw 3D join us. So coming up next Monday, not only will we have Draw 3D, all the families, and we'll have the Fine Arts Academy families. Thank you, all you guys, you two cool families. Thank you so much. But we're going to have the whole world joining us on next Monday, too. We'll have YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I want to say hi to Instagram here. We have, uh, oh, look at Mario. Look at all these cool guys here. I'm trying to go back down. Oops. There we go. I, I guess I can't, I can't mess with it. If I touch the screen, it goes great. Goes crazy, but we have uh, Clossington, we have Kayla, we have Melody, we have Mecker. Good to see you guys. All right, so let's get drawing. Today, I was wanting to draw uh, medieval helmets. Let me show you some pictures. This is the picture I saw, and I captured it on. On um, let me get to get to it real, real quick here. Let me see here. How can I get to my photos? There we go. Look at this beautiful, look at that. Isn't that awesome? I saw that and I go, oh, this is a, this is from the Holy Roman Emperor Ferdinand. It was made for the Roman Emperor Ferdinand II. And I thought, oh, I wonder if he ever wore that thing. But let's draw something uh, based on that. These were some Viking helmets I did in the past. I want to draw uh, a castle. Maybe a cast. I want to draw a dragon today. So I've got a lot of, a lot of fun stuff to draw for our hour. We're going to be spending the whole hour, hour of pencil power. Put a dot in the middle, and let's draw, let's draw four territories. Let's draw four squares here. Take your pencil. It doesn't have to be perfect. No stress, you guys. Remember, no stress. Stress is on the bus. No stress. Someone type in beep 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 beep. No stress, you guys. Stress is on the bus. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my good look at this. Just sketch and have fun today. All right. Hey you guys. Uh yeah, Uzziah and Azra, the whole world will join us next week on YouTube, on Facebook, just like today. Like right now, we have YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram joining us today. I want everybody to give yourself the license to stretch, the license to flop, the license to make mistakes. Give yourself permission to stretch out of your comfort comfort zone. Give yourself permission to try something new and exciting with your pencil power. We're developing pencil power. We're going to go back to the 14th and 15th centuries to the uh, to the these. Um, uh, to these medieval helmets. All right, so I'm going to go to that picture again. Look at that. We're going to draw this guy right here. Doesn't that look awesome? What do you think, Mario? I'm going to try to make sure I don't turn off my computer screen when I have it angled up here. 
Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to put it up on this, on my clamp, Mario. Ah, I just lost my picture again. There were, where's my picture? Ah! Oh, I want to go to my photos. Where's my photos? There we go. All right, I'll put it on my clamp so I can see it right here. Have a nice... All right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this square right here in square number one. So I'm going to move this up, and I'll zoom these cameras in. I'll zoom this in. Uh, see, I got like three different cameras going here. All right, so I'm going to start... I'm going to put the, the the helmet, what I really am emphasizing is this cool image on the top of the helmet. So I'm going to draw, I guess I could put it right down here so you guys can see it. You see this? The the This great kind of like an eagle or a bird, the wings and the tail. So I'm going to start with the, the helmet's face here. And then the, the shield, this is kind of the the drop down face protector shield, right? So that'll drop down in front. And then that's the back of the helmet. See, I'm just very loosely sketching, almost looks like a race car helmet right now, but I'm just loosely sketching, I'm just shaping, I'm molding, just molding and shaping, and I'll lighten this up just a bit. Let's yeah, lighten this. You think so? Okay, and then all the way up here. Now back here, now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this little kind of support structure. It's gonna be this really cool this really cool tail coming down here. So we're just lightly sketching, we're scribbling, we're shaping, we're molding this, and it's gonna have the most wonderful patterns coming down here. Just scribble it, have some fun. Has like a little support back in the back of the neck, some kind of steel plate or uh, iron plate. I think this is the aid to iron age. And then the shoulder kind of slants down. All right, so we're getting there. We're shaping it. Hey, can someone get the participant room? Want to let Una in the room? Melody, thank you. All right, so now I love this. Uh, this bird, this, I keep on thinking, it's, 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 there's like the Sphinx image back here. But this was the armored helmet for the Holy Roman Emperor Fernadan in the 16th century. Isn't that interesting? So it has a, I guess it is, it has like a, a, a little sphere in the front. That it has these wings coming up here. How are you guys doing? Are you guys sketching this profile of this really cool helmet? And then I'm going to have the wing. Look at if you run out, if you go off the top, it's fine. Uh, Melody, can you let Dace in the room on our Zoom room? Thanks, Melody. And then I'm going to draw the draw the wings. Ooh, this is going to be cool. So we're just scribbling, we're sketching, we're shaping, we're molding. And Lamaria, we got lots of cool people on Instagram with us and on YouTube and on Facebook. They're, they're going to, this morning, starting their day by uh, drawing with us. We have Dennis LeBates on with us. That's great. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. All right. I'm going to, now we start drawing the little details of our, of our Royal Arbor helmet. This thing has so much detail on it. I'm gonna has it has one helmet here, one uh, kind of a plate, and the etchings, the the sculpture on these are just incredible. I'm just gonna put some more, and then I'm gonna draw this, the outline of the helmet here. It's looking cool. You just yeah, beep beep beep. That's right, uh, as uh, Uza and Azira. That's right. Now I'm going to put this cool steel faceplate on here. Really, really cool. And then now it has it just has all this design on it. I'm going to put put like it has like a tail, and then it has this this like creature here. This like a a fellow with long hair, and then it has another another design coming down here. 
So you just kind of get get these designs going in here. And then it has all these designs that coming up along here. And then it has a whole whole bunch of patterns in this little area coming down the back here. Just put some patterns up there. All these incredible designs. And then it's like there's almost it, it, like fabric. It's like this guy has fabric in his hand. And I'll put some design there. I'll cut a little bit of a design down here. And some more designing. Just all kinds of interesting patterns and sculptures. You can see, look at look at that. Isn't that cool? Now I'm going to work, and I'm going to put some darkness in here too. But up here, we'll just put some more of these patterns. And I know right here, I'm going to darken that in here. And I'm going to darken in some of this, this some of these spaces here. And I'll darken that in back in there. And just, just we're just kind of detailing in little patterns just to get that idea of all the intricate. See that all that intricacy? Isn't that cool? Have some fun here, and then I'll put that darkness back here underneath that pattern. And then some more. Look, I get all quiet when I'm concentrating. I'll darken in the spot there. Isn't that something? Isn't that cool? All right, coming down here now. Right here, he has. I'm gonna. He has some like uh, these little. Areas here, the grates, the grates on the uh, that he can see through, right? Then on the side, put just all kinds of detail. I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow underneath that drop down shield, and then just have fun, relax, enjoy it. We're just on this one, we're just kind of drawing little detailed patterns to. Fill in and then put some dark spaces in there. And over here, this is the, 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 the shield here, or the shoulder protector. All right, looking cool. Put some more detail here. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, up here, I want to work on the... The feathers of the little bird guy here. Let's work on these feathers. And then this kind of sphere pattern here. Let's shade it. And I'm going to have these feathers coming across here. Coming down here. And then we'll value in that, put some value on that top bar on the helmet. And darken in a little spot down here. Put some more texture coming across this. That's really interesting. Isn't that cool, you guys? And then look, I get all quiet. How are you guys doing out there? Uh, thank you, Uzi and Ozzy, for not using the text box. Thank, we're glad you're here. Don't spam the text box. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, on the in the chat box we have hey. Hey, look, from the Philippines, Mara. We have a, a little artist coming up from the Philippines on Facebook. Good to see you on YouTube and Instagram. Great to see you. This was just uh, my very quick take on this beautiful helmet here. I just put some patterns and then use your, 
use your, uh, where's my stompy? Did I drop my stompy? I'll use this stompy here. Put, put a value on that face plate. Put a value up there on the, on the top of the helmet. Very, very cool. And then I'm going to darken in the openings here. A very ornate helmet, that is for sure. Isn't that something? Isn't that crazy cool? Ha! It's like, I wonder if they can get any, uh, can, can see, that's got to weigh a, a ton. All right, very cool. Very cool, fancy, decorative uh, armored helmet made for the Holy Roman Emperor Fernandan. Let's go back here and let's draw a castle from the from the historic times. And what I'm going to do on this castle is I'm going to use a drawing from You Can Draw on 30 Days book. It's a great book. If This is my best seller. There's over a million of my books in print. <gasps> what? A million books? We're going to draw this castle using two-point perspective. I'm going to draw this castle right here. And it's a, it's a great lesson. There it is right there, two-point perspective. And we'll draw that castle. That's from uh, page 192. Now, this book, you can draw in 30 days. It's uh, yeah, I gotta, I'm trying to keep it to stay open, and it's not staying open. I got to flatten it out. I got to flatten it out. It's not cooperating with me. Mario, there he goes. I'll weigh it down. All right. Oh, there's my, my everything on my desk is going crazy. All right. So let's draw this two-point perspective castle. I'm going to put one point of the perspective here. This will be our horizon line, and I'll put another point right here. Now, the middle of the castle is going to be right about here. I'm going to draw the middle line. Two-point perspective is really alignment, learning how to line things up to vanishing points. Some people call it the vanishing point system. Some people call it perspective. Perspective really is... Um, another word for alignment. It's rooted in the uh, Latin word spec, which means to view, to see. And so perspective is to view depth, to, to view into something. Perspective. Like um, in the ancient, it, 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 we used to call glasses spectacles, right? To, to see, to view, or spectators. It's a, rooted in that um Latin word spec, spectators to, to view an event, to see, spectacular, to view something, you know, very uh, amazing, incredible, inspector, to view, uh, to see um, clues. So a lot of words, I love the, I love words, I love the roots of words. So perspective alignment, what we're doing is we're lining up with a vanishing point to the right and the left. This will be the top of the castle coming up down here. And this will be the bottom of the castle here. And the further out you stretch your vanishing points, the the, the less extreme and fishbowl look your drawing will be. So I'm going to draw the top of the castle. Take my time here. You see what's happening? We're using now. Now, right away, you can start seeing these, these Renaissance words, these 12 words of drawing that I use every time I start to draw. And here's like these words right here. Trying to get the chart. These are the these words are five hundred years old. Okay, I didn't invent them. I just learned them. Uh, I just learned them like you are, and I'm teaching them after forty years. These words, these Trent twelve Renaissance words, will change your drawing uh, uh, understanding and skill if you guys learn that. So what we're gonna do right here is it looks like I'm frozen on Facebook, Mario. Let's see. Let's see if I can get, I don't know, am I still frozen on Facebook? Hello, Facebook. I wonder if I'm still frozen. Here, hold on a second here, Facebook. All right, I want to see if I can get my Facebook back up and running again. Am I frozen on Facebook, uh, Melody? No. All right, well, hold on a second here. Well, let's see here. Let 
Maybe, maybe I just lost a uh, connection on my computer. There we go. I wanted to be able to see the comments. And we're back. Okay. So what I'm going to try is to not lose that again. Here we go. So I'm going to draw, you see in their alignment, the top here comes down. Look at the vertical line. I'm going to keep, I'm going to draw the, the turrets at the top. See this? The turrets line up the turrets. And the, the castle, that'll be the edge of the castle, and that'll be the edge of the castle over here, kind of uh, blocking it in. And then the, I'll erase my guideline here. We don't need that horizon right there. And I'm going to put a big, giant, two vertical lines right here, two vertical, straight up and down vertical, line up with the side of your paper. And then the top, the top will line up with that vanishing point bound there, but I'm gonna, even though I'm going to curve it, it still lines up there. And then I'm going to drop the, 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 I'll, I'll, let's put a, a, a drawbridge or I think, you know what, I'll do what they did. I did in the book in the book here. I put these ramps on the outside of it. I'm going to do the ramps. I think that looks really cool. So let's, let's, let's do what I, Oh, you know what's happening is it's my book is pushing. I know what I'm doing. I, see, I just don't have enough desk space. And I have this entire room. There we go. I'll keep the book from pressing all the keys on the computer. All right. Now, vertical line, draw the turrets. Vertical line, draw the turrets. Isn't this fun? These are where the guards will peek out between these stones, and they they protect the... They protect the inhabitants, right, from all the pizza delivery people. Vertical, vertical, line it up, vertical. It gets smaller. That's the size. These get smaller and smaller as they they move. Oh, yeah. Uh, Una wants a stuffed animal moment. Stuffed animal moment. If you have your stuffed animal, put it up on the camera. My, hello, Dace in England. Hello, Fatima. Hello, Uzziah and Isaiah and Caitlin. Caitlin, that is one scary stuffed animal. And Lucas say, nope, I'm too busy drawing my castle in my cool medieval helmet. That that really turned out here. Look, I'm gonna I, I gotta go back and work on this a little bit more. Like I just have to keep going back and adding. I can't stop. I keep fidgeting with it, adding more detail. Okay, get back to the castle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna using the guidelines, I'm gonna put I'm going to put a ramp right here, draw a vertical line, and I'm going to line it up. You can use rulers, but I'm just going to line it up with, with my line here, with my vanishing point. I'll put one ramp, put one ramp over here. I'm going to put another ramp on the other side of the door. And this, this ramp's going to line up too. See, we got to line it up. Just take your pencil and just get all these guidelines, you see, to the vanishing points on the... Uh, Right side and the left side of it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, you guys? What I just did, I lined up. But vertical's vertical. Oh, it's always straight up and down. But then, now you can if you want to double check something. I want to double check this point right here. So I'm going to use my ruler and line it up. Yeah, it was pretty good. I was pretty, pretty well lined up there. Looking good, you guys. Well, thank you. I'm getting some wonderful comments on on Instagram. Thanks, guys. I want to draw a dragon next. Do you guys want to draw a dragon? Draw a knight's helmet. We draw or a, we drew the king's helmet this time, but the helmet, the medieval helmet, then the castle and the dragon. That sounds cool. So I love these ramps lining up here. And I'll draw that the doorway of the castle. Now, because we see, we're looking up, you see a thickness at the top, and you also see the thickness down the side of the door, and the bottom of the door lines up to this vanishing point over on the left. And I'll straighten that up here. Let's zoom this camera in so you can see it even better. And now on this side, I'm going to put a row of windows. So I'm going to put some guidelines for the windows first. 
And then I'm going to put a row of ramps coming down here. So I'll put one, I'll put three ramps. And you know what? I think I'm going to make the ramps. Um, do I want to make them the same size? So let's see. I'm going to make them the same size right there on the horizon. So I'll put, I'll put a vertical line here. And then uh, we're going to draw the guidelines. See, a lot of guidelines, you guys. So I'll put one ramp there. And then there's the thickness. And then this, we have to, I'm going to turn my paper to make sure I get that. Go those guidelines. See, just scribble, scribble, scribble. Just do it freehand. It doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. You guys with me on this one? <clears throat> now, you wouldn't see as much thickness right there. It's okay, you guys. If you make a mistake, no problem. Just if you get all tangled up, tango on, right? If you make a mistake, <clears throat> no stress. Just enjoy the process. Take your time one line at a time. Sketch, sketch, sketch. No stress. Stress is on the bus. I'm going to put another ramp here. Line it up. Follow that same angle for the slant. That's ramp number two. They get smaller as they move away. I'll jump back here. There's ramp number three. And I'm going to line it up here. Get smaller as it moves away. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <coughs> Excuse me. We got three of the ramps. And I'm going to put windows up here. I'm going to put windows. I want to put a window here. Now, I put three windows on the, the, uh, in the book, so I'll kind of squeeze a vertical line. This window gets smaller, and then this window gets smaller still. We'll put three castle windows in here using the top. Let's see, line it up. Take your time. You could use rulers. You don't have to. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can just do a guess, the, you know, guesstimate on those angles. You see, and my windows aren't quite vertical. That's okay. You'll fix it. Don't worry about it. Just have some fun. Line up. This is that word size. There's 12 words of drawing. Foreshortening, placement, size, overlapping, shading, shadow, contour, horizon, density. Those are just a few of them. And these words are all listed in the back of my brand new book. You can draw in 30 seconds. Now, if you haven't ordered this book, oh my goodness. Luca, I got your order last night, Luca. Your, I saw, is that your mom that ordered that for you, Luca? I'll be shipping it out. I'll be shipping out probably next Monday. So thank you, Luca. That's awesome. So Caitlin has her book. And Dace, did you get your book, Dace? Yeah, okay, it's coming. Fatima, did you get your book yet? Not, not yet. All right, it's coming because I shipped it. All right, here's the drawing compass in the back of the book. There's the 12 Renaissance words. Here's the 99 club levels. Now, the way you get this book right here, you guys, you have to go to my, my website at the bottom of your screen. You see markkessler.com. It's not on Amazon. <laughs> These book, this book right here, you can draw in 30 days. You can draw in 30 days is on Amazon. And I have to apologize about my hand being so scratched up. I was petting my cat. My cat was curled up, flash. That way, I, you know, they have... They have, you know, plenty of areas to sleep all over the house. And they choose, you know, right next to my shoulder, and I'm allergic to them. We have two cats. And Flash, who's the most docile one of them all, was was curled up next to my shoulder. And I was going to try to move him down toward the bottom, toward my feet, so I didn't sneeze all night. But I figured I'd pet him first, give him a little bit of love. Started petting him. But look at this. Like, it's like 2 in the morning. Look, at he went nuts. He, like, he chewed me up. And I was like, dude. He's, he's like this old, docile, fluffy cat, and he's, he just mangled my arm, and Mario thinks that's funny. I was like, oh, dude, that's so not cool. I, was, I, gave, I gave Flash a stern talking to, do not eat your master. No chewing and eating your master at 2 in the morning. It's actually probably 3 in the morning. All right. Uh, Mark uses the right word for all this. Have some more fun. What are the ramps for? Uh... What are the ramps for? I don't know. Skateboarding, uh, cinnamon roll delivery, um, la lasagna noodle storage bins. They could be buttresses that the the a lot of cathedrals in the uh, medieval times had flying buttresses to support the sides of the walls because they were so heavy. The walls they didn't want the walls to to fall out, so they put these these supports, these ramps, these these the buttresses to buttress the the um, 
the side to give it extra support. All right. Now up here, I think I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a, uh, 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 I'm going to put a guard up here, Mario. Little guard. He's got a helmet on. Look at this. This guard's got his helmet. See this? Look at they. they, they all these guards. The, the the king had to, started a fashion trend where everybody has to have those fancy little things on top of their helmet. So here's this guy. He's got his fancy schmancy helmet on. And this guy... Look at he's he has this bow and arrow, and he wasn't sure who was approaching. So here he is. He's holding his bow and arrow, and he pulled it back. Look at he has his bow and arrow up here. I should zoom that in so you can see what I'm doing. And he shot an arrow. He wasn't sure, and all of a sudden, and the arrow got went right in the ground here. See that? And then the the the. Uh, Pizza delivery guy got so frightened, he dropped the pizza. Look at, he dropped the pizza. They didn't have boxes back then. They just delivered it all, big giant pizza. And he dropped the pizza in the grass. And he went running. He went, he just took off. He's like, hey, stop shooting arrows at me. Not cool. I'm delivering pizza. And the guard says, oops. I didn't know that you were the pizza guy. Now, the thickness on the left side, the windows on the left is but the thickness on the top. The thickness comes down the left side. Oops, you're not going to see the bottom. I made a mistake. No stress, you guys. The bottom is going to be right at your eye level here, so you're not going to see that thickness. You will see the thickness at the top, and the thickness lines will line up with that. You'll see the little thickness of the wall, thickness of this top. See, it's above your eye level. And then I'm going to put a whole bunch of people looking out the window. Look at Mora. Look at these guys. These guys are looking out. What's going on? Look at, they're all looking out the window. We want our pizza. Why did he chase our pizza away? Look at this. This guy's crying. Look at this guy's like, Aah. he's holding up his hands. Why did you chase the pizza away? His, all the tears coming out of his the hair he's like wait that's our pizza come back come back this the guard at the top is not a very popular guard today why would you chase our pizza away no they're all having a revolt this was the beginning of the end of this empire all right now the thicknesses watch the thickness on the left side, I'm going to put thickness up here, up here. On the left side, the, the building is on, the wall's on the left side, so the thickness goes on the right side, right side, right side, right side. Now, the, now this is interesting because in the window, the window's on the left side, so the thickness goes on the left side. Isn't that interesting? See that? Isn't that interesting to see how that thickness goes right up? Now, on the right side, we'll just rotate it, and if the, the block or the side of the roof on the right side I'll put the thickness dropping down on the left side see right there little thickness very very important got that how are you guys doing out there on Instagram how are you guys doing on Facebook uh, oh the unicorn interesting interesting story turn it up here And a correction. I never said I can't draw a horse. I said horses are challenging, funny guy. But yeah, horses are t it's like some some things like hands are tough for me. Drawing hands if I'm trying to be realist. Some things are tough and give you more challenge. It just takes more time. Like you can anybody can draw a horse. It just takes a lot more time for me to draw. That's why I do the unibears. Here, let's draw the thickness up here. Let's draw our arrow turrets. Angle it down, angle it down. How are you guys doing on Zoom? One through ten in the text box. How are you keeping up with me on Zoom, all my Zoom artists out there? Hey, I have my summer art camps coming up. Be sure to sign up for summer camp. Go to my website. If you have any trouble signing up, send me an email. I'm excited about it. If you want to sign up for my Draw 3D, I have hundreds of lessons on draw3d.com. 
Here's a 50% off code, Kistler50, if you want to get half off. Remember, if you sign up for Draw3D.com, you get Mighty Mondays all day live with me. Thanks for my sh letting me do my shameless plugs here with you guys. Now, also, if you look at the screen, I'm doing a... Uh, uh, I'm doing a spring, um, a April three-hour art immersion coming up, too, and I'll tell you more about that later. Let's get some shading on this castle. The sun's up here coming down, so let's shade the side. Let's shade the side. And you can clean up all those lines. I kind of like those lines. Let's shade all the sun. Shade off. have the light coming from the right, and you can put... Uh, which I will. I'll put a little bit of texture on this castle in a second here. Just take your time. I'm going to put a value down the side, away from the light. And you can take your pencil and darken inside there, oh, behind all those faces. Hey, Melody, can you do a round robin art gallery so I can see how you guys did on your fancy schmancy uh, royal armored helmet and your two point perspective castle? Let's see how you guys are doing on that. I'm going to darken, and this is the value I'm darkening behind here. Uh, nice job, Caitlin. She's doing a really cool castle with a bridge. There's Melody's two-point castle. There's Luca's. Nice job. Luca darkening the background behind this helmet. That's really cool. There's Fatima. Nice job on your, on your helmet. Excellent job. And there's Dace's drawing. Excellent, Dace. Ah, Dace's pizza man is running. She drew the pizza man literally running. And there's Uzziah and Aziah. Thank you for drawing with me, Uzziah and Aziah. Good to have you guys here. Let's shade. Now I'm going to put some texture for the bricks on this. Let me shade the value here. I'm going to put a little bit more value right, right in the nooks and crannies here. Put a shadow on the ground. So you can have so much fun with this. Uh, hey, that's wonderful. Thank you for your interesting comments about making horses out of balloons, Mr. William. Uh, hey, Freely. Thank you, Freely, for being on here. Glad you're here with us on Facebook. Thank you, Instagram, all my friends on Instagram. Now, down here, let's put... Uh, I want to put... Let's put some some folks uh, peeking out of here. I'll put to put some guys here. Maybe this guy. I want. I'm gonna have this guy holding like a scepter. He's gonna be holding this this royal scepter. Maybe maybe he had. This is a king with a king helmet on, and the king crown, and the king is taking a little stroll. And he's walking along there. He's walking out here. Put a shadow. And you can have people behind him. I'm going to put a value behind the king. Kind of darkening all that area behind him there. And have him walking out. He's going to go out and find out what happened to the pizza. He's very, very, very concerned about the something happened with their pizza delivery. He's, so he's out. He's on his way. All right. Now, I'll shade the tops along here. Nice job, all you Zoom students in my Fine Arts Academy, for showing me your artwork. You're doing a really good job, you guys. <coughs> all right. Now, I want to put a shadow. Cash shadows line up. See, even the cash shadow lines up with your vanishing point. Two point vanishing point. Let's see how close we are to this drawing here. See, this is, we're using this book right here. You can draw in 30 days. This book is available on my website. Now, if you want to get this one and this one, 
This you can draw in 30 seconds. This is my brand new one. You have to go to my website for this one, markkistler.com. This is self-published. A wonderful book. I think you'll really, really, really love it. Um, this is my bestseller. This is on, on Amazon. And what you're, we're using is page 193. So I'm now I'm going to put a few of the little this texture detail. I'm going to put a few of the texture detail. I'm going to shade... And I'm going to shade the side here. All right, so now let's go up here. And I'll put, now just a few of bricks go a long way. When you're drawing tree trees, the bark, you know, the grains on the bark, a few lines go a long way. Just a, just a suggestion. I'm not going to draw every single brick, but I will line those bricks up in groups. I'm going to put little groups. I'll put a group here, group here, group here. This is one of those art words called grouping. And in the back of the book, remember I mentioned that in this book right here, in the back of this book, there's there's this a chart called the art chart. There's 22 words to, called the art chart. And one of these words is called natural design, whether the bricks or the fur of a bunny or the uh, grain of a wood, you know, tree, or the texture in a cloud. And one of them is called grouping. You put a few here and there, just little groups, just just a few of these bricks to give it. Don't have to put too much, just a few. See what happens? Just a few really go a long way. Now, <clears throat> I'll do the same thing on this side. I'm going to line the bricks up. Even the bricks line up to your vanishing point system. So, I'll put my couple bricks here, a little group here, line those up. And I'll put a couple up here on the top. And I'll put a couple right here. You see, just a few bricks. Isn't that cool how a, few, a little bit goes a long way? This is really awesome. Now, if you want, you guys, you could put guards. You could put guards. If they, they're big here and they get smaller. And they get smaller as they move away, okay? So you could have guards looking here. You could have the guards up here with their spears. You can have all kinds of uh, interesting helmets up here. <coughs> These guys, see, just <coughs> I could put a whole bunch of them. Just sketch and scribble and have fun. All right, do you guys have fun on that one? Did you guys have fun on that one? I'm going to darken in that horizon back there just to have a little more sky. See what I did? I darkened it. I gave it some value at the bottom. I got lighter at the top. I'll get darker down here. Let me zoom this camera out just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. How are you guys doing on Instagram? Are you, anybody drawing with me on Instagram? I see I have some viewers that jumped on. Let's get lighter. This is value. Put some value in the sky. Get lighter and lighter as it goes up. Now, I think i got to put a little shadow on the these ramps here. Maybe a little shadow on the side. These are the little details that make your drawing really pop out here. Little cast shadows even on the side. Isn't that wonderful? And you can fill in all that detail. As many of those guys as you want. <clears throat> All right, looks like uh, well, I can't believe we've been we've gone uh this. We got a few more minutes. You guys, want to draw a little dragon guy? Let's do a little dragon guy down here. Let's sketch in. I got a little empty space here, so I'm gonna draw this dragon, a dragon's face, and the dragons will be kind of. There's the neck. I'm gonna scribble it. I'm gonna shape it in first. I'm gonna draw that belly. This is where that. The, the ribbed belly will come in here. And I'll erase that guideline since we're not using it. Just erase it down here. I'm going to erase it all the way up. It just helped us position our drawings. I'm so excited for summer camps, you guys. Summer camps are coming up where we'll be drawing every day, three, four hours a day. Go to my website for summer camps. Uh, every one of you were in my summer camps last night. I had Dace there with, with, with me. Melody was there with me. Caitlin was there with me. I think Uzai and Azza. Luca, were you in my summer camps last summer? And Fatima, were you in my summer camps last summer? Wow, so that means you guys have been with me <coughs> coming up on a year of virtual learning. That is so awesome. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I want to get I want to get this dragon more. There we go. 
So I'm going to draw the eyes where the dragon's going to be. And I'm going to I'm going to give this dragon uh, this big eyebrow over the top of his eye, see? I'll give that over the top of the eye here. And then I'll draw the dragon's eye. And then I'm going to draw the the eyebrow over the top. See what I did there? And then Fatima will start basically what we're doing right now and I posted this yesterday with Mario and I, last March 13th, we started. So a little over a year ago, we started doing these uh, kids at home live webcasts for, um, because this, when the schools first uh, went on uh, lockdown, uh, everybody stay at home. And we started doing one hour every day at noon, an hour of pencil power. And we did 73 episodes, and then our summer camp started. But we went for two and a half months, March, April, and May, and it was just, it was exciting. Now, all those lessons, you can see them at draw3d.com. They're in the Hour of Pencil Power collection. And here's some examples of some of, of, some of these Hour of Pencil Power lessons. You guys check this out. Uh, we did the frogs. This is just a great, great collection of drawings. And these are all at draw3d.com. Check it out. The, these are just hours of the hour pencil power, the sharks and the penguins. <clears throat> we did the birds, hour pencil power. Now, these are all right there at draw3d.com. If you look at that, the sharks, and then here are the big dinosaur butts, the roadways, <clears throat> and the robots and bunny rabbits. I just put, I would put ghost in with squids, you know, I just my just wherever our imagination took us. And then we did uh, this. This was a really, really popular one with castles. This was back even uh, beyond the medieval time. This is back in the 11th century, uh, 11th, 12th century. So these, remember, these lessons are all at draw3d.com. And if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to get a membership, there's hundreds of lessons. There's a 50% off discount code. It's usually $200 a year for a family membership. Here it is, 99 bucks. Use that code. And remember, it comes with Mondays all day long, Mighty Mondays, hundreds of recorded lessons. Thank you for your support. Absolute attitude of gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Let's draw, I'm going to draw the, the dragon's eye pupil. Draw that pupil there. I just, look at, I'm having a, I have to come up here and put more detail. I know I should stop, but I can't, I can't stop myself. I just, uh, I have so much fun adding the detail on these guys here. Ah, I can't stop myself, you guys. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get back to work. All right. So now I'm on this side, I'm going to put the other edge of his uh, uh, other eye. I'm going to put the shadow here. Let me zoom this in. That, that'll probably look at it. I'm also squirrel, so ADHD here on you. All right. Darken in here. I'm going to darken underneath their shading and shadow. Very, very important words are those 12 Renaissance words. I hope, I hope, I would love to autograph those books for you. You can draw in 30 seconds. It's a, just a brand new release I have. I'm about through with my first 1,000 self-published books sitting down in my living room. I've been through uh, more than half of them. Order while you can. And uh, if you order it today, I'll autograph it. You don't have to pay the $50 for an autograph book. Just buy the regular book and I'll autograph it. Just make sure you put make sure you put in the uh, the personalized area, that little comment area, who you want me to sign it to. <coughs> okay? Make sure you make sure that you put it on these and what's the fun about these books? The front page, I actually have an autograph page here. See, it's cool. Let me zoom this out so you can see the whole thing here see see this whole page here and then on the inside front cover look at you can see all these old lessons from from the hour of pencil power and inside of the back cover you see all of this a lot of our lessons from the from the fine arts academy isn't that cool and the forward was written by my friend william foster who's uh ground control for the international space station at nasa he wrote the forward and I had so so many uh, uh, so much help and so many guests helped me with that book. I'm so excited. 
All right, so now let's draw the, let's get this dragon. I can't believe our time is already almost up. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Do you guys have fun on, on Instagram? Give me a one through 10. If you liked our crazy lesson of the uh, King Ferdinand's helmet from the 16th century, the two-point perspective castle where they're chasing away the pizza delivery guy, and our dragon. The little dragons. Looks like It almost looks like Godzilla. And then I'm going to put some these uh, these uh, the what do you call these? The puffy, the lines, the ribs, the the texture. Melody, help me out here. What do you call what would you call these lines right here? It's that textured belly, right? I'm looking at the looking at the text box, waiting for Melody to give me a word for these these these. Uh, Lines here. I'm having a, I'm having a uh, mental pause. I can't think of the word. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna give this guy here. I'm gonna give him some wings. Watch this. I'm gonna give him some cool wings coming from right here. I'm gonna have this wing going up, and then from out here, I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna follow that. Look at that wing. I just have just enough room to to squeeze that wing in there, and I'm gonna draw these these little. These little lines here. These are the inside, right? So, so I think I think I did one too many. I'm going to take that out. No problem. No, if you if you make a mistake, just erase it. Just if you tangle up, tangle on. So I'm going to draw this wink, this curve line, that curve line here, that fluted line. Right? I'm going to put a little hook right there. Rah! What do you think, Mar? Do you like that? Yeah. Put some claws at the top of that wing. Coming down, put some wrinkles. Rah. And the back wing, you'd barely see the back wing back here. I think I think you'd barely see it back here. Just a little peekaboo. See, it would be this goes, it would be coming up on this side. And you just barely see it. You see that little tiny, barely, barely see a little peek of your line. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and add some shading along that edge. Add some tone and value. Lizard, it's like a lizard or dino belly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm going to darken in part of that mouth. You could put you could put breath or fire in his coming out. Now also here here's a good spot to put some texture. Put some scales on the back of the dragon. Isn't that fun? Put some scales like I do this with fish and seahorses and mermaids. Put in the scales. All right, awesome. And then I'll put some nostrils here. Part of a foreshorten. Put a little thickness here, right? And then darken the inside. Get lighter as it comes down. And then you just barely see the other one. See the little peekaboo nostril on the other side? All right, well, there you go. Let's zoom out so you guys can see what we did here. Rah, put some action lines. And we got to put our title, so I guess I'll write my title right up here at the top. Uh, this is Mark Kissler. That's me. Woohoo! Mark Kissler. This is our hour of pencil power. Mark Kissler's daily live Zoom drawing lesson. So glad you guys can join me today for some creativity and some some joyful distraction from all the other stress that's going on, on the planet. Drawing lessons, take a little break from the world and to draw with us. Mario is saying something. And oh, he's giving me the date. It's the April 7th. Thank you, thank you. So let's put the date. Thanks, Mario. 4 7, 2021. Mario has his own page in the book, as I might add. If you get the You Can Draw in 30 Second Book, 
you got to be sure to see right away, turn to the back of the book, and there's Mario's full page, tells his story, and did the, he, he have a lot of his illustrations in the in the book. It's so wonderful. Do you see that, Melody? Melody, did you see that in the book, the last page? And Mario, he got the, uh, <clears throat> he's so excited for me to finish the class because the local Home Depot donated to Mario's GoFundMe page. They donated <clears throat> here's that uh here's he, he's here's Mario that's his logo and he's practicing the shampooing carpets this week and Home Depot uh gave him there's the Mighty Mario's 2021 Dream Quest now if you can read my writing can you read my writing Dace can you read that Mighty Mario's 2000 so if you guys go to GoFundMe type that and you can read his story but Home Depot donated a $300 rental of this commercial carpet extractor, basically a carpet shampooer. They donated to him for a whole week because they, they just, they're big fans of his. And so I was so, I said, Mario, I can't stop. I need to stop, but I can't. I keep on adding. I got to add more shady, more details. Let me get this in here. Instagram, I hope you guys enjoy drawing with me. I'm sorry I had to turn the, I'm sorry that I turned the um, had to turn the camera sideways to get the full in. Have uh, uh, Caitlin or Dace or Luca or Melody or Caitlin? Is anybody on Instagram? Uh, Melody, can you check it out? How does it does it look okay being sideways like that? We're able to see the picture. I'm trying something different. Yeah, I wonder how many of you guys on Instagram are able to turn it and see it. I hope it's not locked in some kind of weird angle for you. All right, but it was this is fun. We we more we simulcast to all our friends on YouTube. We had to turn off the comments, but I'm glad you guys are still drawing with me, even though you're not making comments. Thank you. We have some comments from uh here. Tomorrow, Joe Galagos Galigos says, "Draw, draw, draw. Twenty or thirty minutes a day." That's right. He's an old fan of the Secret City. That was back th when I did this show back in 1985. I did the Secret City. And then 1995, we did the Imagination Station. Those two TV series. Hope you watched them. You can see a lot of my, a lot of my uh, episodes on my website at uh, draw3d.com. Remember, there's a 50% discount code if you sign up for the whole year for your family. Instead of $200, it's $99 with a discount code. And please, please, please consider. You guys, getting your families, getting your kids signed up for my su virtual summer camp. It's going to be awesome. I have different time zones. I have 14 weeks of summer camps coming up. Woohoo! Summer camps. Hope you guys uh, sign up and enjoy it. All right. Mark has daily drawing lessons. This is the Fine Arts Academy week. We already discussed this, right? This is week 34 of 41 weeks. And today it is, what is the day today? Oh my goodness, the day, Mario. Uh, is it, you. today's Wednesday, right? The seventh. The seventh. Yeah, April 7th, but it's Wednesday, right? Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday. Today's garbage day. Today's garbage day here in, in Houston. Wednesday, and it is our 11 a.m.-ish. We go heavy on the ish class. And then you guys sign up, you sign your name to your drawings. All right, well, thank you guys for drawing with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to try something with my with my Instagram because I have to... Instagram, I'm going to come back to you guys in just a second. But I'm going to have to dangle that. I'll, I'll kind of close that off for you just for a second. Thank, goodbye, Instagram. And then goodbye, Facebook. While I'm doing this, Melody, can you do another round-robin student art gallery for all the students' work? And let's go ahead and say farewell to Facebook. Goodbye, Facebook. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. Let's close that. And we'll end our live on Facebook. And then we'll end on... Uh, there we go. Then we'll end on YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Thanks for drawing with me. You guys are awesome. Uh, you're, 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 and...